Now let's configure wishlist member so that we can protect our in5 content inside of the post as well. So I'll go back to my dashboard and down to wishlist member and I want to go into content protection and down to folders. I'm going to turn on folder protection and then go to settings. Now the first thing to take note of is that there is a folder here. I'm just going to click edit so I can see it a little bit easier. And what you're seeing on the left is the root of the blog. If the blog were in a folder called blog, it would be public HTML slash blog. And then on top of that, we have a directory by default where our files go. This is actually the parent folder. So inside of this folder, it's going to create additional folders for every type of membership that we have. So in this case, the content associated with our premium membership is going to go into files slash premium. We can change this directory to be anything we want, but for this purpose, I'm just going to leave it as files. That's the important thing to note that files is at the root of our blog directory. So let's click cancel. And we want to make sure that this is automatically configured to add folder protection for new levels. And then just to be on the safe side, I'm going to say reset protection just so it creates that. And then we can see here we've got the premium level. It's got a lock there to indicate that it is protected and we should be all good. I'm just going to refresh this page because for some reason the headings were missing. So now you can see status, protected, writable, all the stuff. Now we're good. Let's go back to our post. So I'll go back to my dashboard and onto issue one. And then I'm actually just going to select in my post and hit delete to remove issue one. I'm going to go to add in five embed, select issue one. Since we created this earlier without setting up a protected directory, this just went in the default directory. So we're going to go ahead and delete this permanently so nobody can see it. And I'm going to go back to add new and now I'm going to click upload to custom folder. And now you can see my membership site is there. This is a little bit different than how Wishlist sets it up, but I think it's a little bit more intuitive. So there's our site. It's at the root level. This is where our blog is. And we've got files. And then inside of that, there is a premium folder. And to test this, let's just go into cPanel, go into the file manager, open that up. I'm going to go to public HTML where our blog is. And see, there is the files folder. Let me go in and there's a premium folder. This is the thing that has the protection. Now I'm going to go back to my post and make sure this goes into premium. So files slash premium. Now I want to select an archive to open and I'll just go back here and grab issue one and drop that on. And once it's uploaded, you can see this now goes into files slash premium. So this content will be protected. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing and half the height because this is a two page spread. Again, this is all flexible stuff. I'm going to go ahead and select all these options again so we can easily open this in a new window. And then I'm going to insert into post. And of course, I can copy this right from here just from testing. But why don't I do it the same way I did it before? Insert this into the post. There it is. And say update. Now I'm going to view the post. And of course, I can open this in a new window. There it is. So I'm going to copy this and open a new incognito window paste this in and you can see it redirects me. Now it looks like there's a little glitch and it looks like it's directing me to a cache version of the main page. Now, I believe in our redirects, we could set this up to say something specific like you don't have access to this content, but for right now it just defaults to the main page. And I think this is cache, this is actually the old post. So if we select it, it doesn't go there. So I think that issue will go away over time as that cache gets cleared out. But for now, what you can see is that that content is protected and there is no way to get to it unless you are logged in as a premium member. So let's go ahead and create the other posts for this. I'm just gonna click add new to create a brand new one. Let's do issue two. And actually what I'll show you is how to add this in the block editor. It's very similar. Let's create issue two and then we'll create our block and we can just filter for the M5 embed. And same process, we're gonna add new we want to upload to a custom folder. It remembers that premium folder. So we'll just grab that, upload issue two, and again, change this height. And I can just select all the options and insert it into the post and publish. Oh, but what I need to do before I publish is actually protect this. So this is one caution about that is don't forget to do that. So now that it's published, I do want to, I got to close that and update. 
And now let me view the post in an incognito window and make sure my protection worked. Yes. There's that cached issue one. You can just ignore that for now. Let's just open this in a new window. And we can see there's the content as we're logged in. We can see it fits the two page spread. So there's issue two. We've got that. Just make sure that's properly saved. Let's add another new post. And I'll add issue three. I'm going to take all the same steps so you don't necessarily need to watch me do everything. But again, I'm going to add new custom folder. Grab the archive change the size, select all the options, insert into post, and we just happen to default to the classic editor here. Make sure I protect it and say apply settings. And now I can publish. I'll view my post in a new window, but I'm logged in in this window, so everything looks good. And let me view it in an incognito window where I'm not logged in and it redirects me to the main page. Now everything is protected, the post itself and the content inside. Now let's take a look at a slightly more sophisticated version of showing different content to members versus non-members.